there's a man who contradicts Wait, he's a type of guy to tell you There's no first place But he's part of a race The best way to fight it is not to fight And people find that a strange concept I'm going to talk about that Okay, so as Ryan said, this is in our DNA, and um, that comes from a people who are recently oppressed, you see. And oppression goes on all the time, but people like to say, oh, you're not the only ones oppressed, and so on. And what about here, and what about here? But it still hurts. We've still got the pain, you know. The, um, I'm talking about the English interaction with the Irish and with, the, um, with, with black people. And because of the England's power and their dominance worldwide, all the negativity that they say about the Irish and the English, that spreads and spreads. I grew up to um, know and think and believe that Irish people are stupid. And that took quite some um, work to get rid of. It takes just a moment to change your mind. I understand that. But what I mean is, is you didn't just hear Irish people are stupid, so you had to just change your mind, but you were shown imagery all the time. So even if you thought Irish person wasn't stupid, when you saw an Irish workman, you know, with a cap on maybe and boots and so on, then you immediately drew you back into that stupid mode because they will show you an image of an Irish worker being stupid or doing stupid things, whether it was on a comedy show or um, just some insidious um, means of indoctrination where they pretended they wasn't trying to show a negative image, but they actually was. And it may be on, on a TV show which had high standing at the time. And the same with a black person. The comedian was taking a piss out of them. There was... Uh, making television series where they could call, you know, like people Sambo, like Love Thy Neighbour it was called, and it was just all these images were just thrown at you all the time. So we had a fight against a system of oppression, and still do, very recently, and I mean on a gross scale recently, where people were being imprisoned and, you know, raped and robbed and hurt, but um, it's still there um, economically and um, insidiously, and it's a fight that we've got. So the Irish and English uh, and, um, and black people, and when I say black, I'm not going to say West Indian, African, um, black people, um, that, that fight was very real. Um, but you can do it, this is what I'm going to talk about, by just stepping out. And that's what people are afraid of. Just walk away. And then like, I'll lose my house, I'll lose my job. You won't. This is what you're fighting for. So when the fight's over, you say, you're not taking my house away. I'll continue my payments now, <laughs> you know, or, or whatever it is. Um, but we just stop. We just step back. But people don't want to do it. People want too much. People are greedy. If you, had, if you said, right, it's going to be a national no shopping day every um, Friday of the month, for the next um, 12 months, even for the next three months, people won't do it. Because they're sat there going, oh, that's a great idea. That will hurt them. We'll hurt them in the pocket. Everyone in the country, don't buy anything on Friday. Only the necessities. Because it's Friday, you need some bread, you need some milk. I don't know why you drink milk. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Animal milk, anyway. And um, buy just the necessities. You may need some toilet paper, and that's it. But don't buy anything else. And everyone's like, oh, but it's Black Friday tomorrow and I can get a telly. Even if it's not Black Friday, I want to buy a telly tomorrow. I want to buy this thing that I saw on the internet yesterday. Buy, 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 buy. And all purchases for things that we don't need. I'm looking at all the things I'm surrounded with now and I'm trying to think of all the things that I bought that I don't need. This. You know, it's nice to have. It's a speaker. I can take my sounds with me. But I didn't really need it. <laughs> you know, I bought it all the same. This knife, I needed it. So I bought it, all right? Okay, I had a million uses for it. I used it every single day when I was in Nicaragua just for cutting things in the shop. When I was building the shop, it was my screwdriver. It was my nail cleaner. It was my defense in the street. You know, I used to carry it out with me. And, um, you know, I had a million reasons. But I don't try to buy the things that I don't. Um, need a lot of the time and you could argue that oh you don't need this you don't need that like my device for making music but I wanted to present the show I wanted to talk to people I wanted to communicate my ideas and people to talk to me like Ryan thank you so much tonight Ryan by the way where you could hear Ryan's ideas and agree or challenge them and in doing so I had to get a microphone and you know some some lights and some basic studio stuff but the value for money that I'm getting out of it and I think other people are getting from it um it's endless and there's a need. I haven't got any excess. I've got everything I need. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I need another light, blah, blah, blah. I think, no, 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 you actually got the basic set up and it works really well. So if we step back and stop talking about, if our needs aren't there for other people, let's say that, if it's just for us and our own selfish need, don't bother. Take a day off. Take a Friday off. Don't buy anything. Don't buy nothing for a few days even. And people argue, but I haven't bought nothing for ages. And they always talk about big things. 
and you say, but you bought a uh, Costa coffee, you bought a coffee this morning on the way to work, and then you bought a coffee at lunchtime, and they cost, I don't know what, they £2.80, £3 each or whatever, and all we're doing is feeding and feeding and feeding the monster, and we need to take time off. Like, not only just um, for the uh, obvious things, like a, 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 a purchase, but um, don't watch telly. Turn your telly off for the day. If everybody just said, right, let's not do nothing today. Do Read a book. I agree with reading books. They still require a purchase, but there's so much value to be had from a book. So turn your telly off. Don't buy anything. You know, can you imagine the hurt that would do? And don't go on the internet neither. Can you imagine all those massive machines that are sucking up on the Earth's resources, you know, through electricity right now so we can communicate or buy stuff in the main Amazon? They just went, Brrr. they're using 60% less energy because we're not buying stuff. We're not talking rubbish or we're not just being fed adverts through the internet. We're not buying stuff in the shops. And if we've done that often, guaranteed, when we did switch back on after six months, I'm not talking about six months off completely, but six months of just keep taking time off. You watch Amazon give you 10% discounts. You watch all these shops suddenly say, we're, 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 we're making billion, trillions. Jeff um, Bezos is worth a trillion now, Amazon. Um, they'll say, we've got enough money. We could give people discounts for the next 20 years, every one of our clients. It still wouldn't hurt us. But those things would start happening. And of course, we'd be using less resources. And that's one of the greater benefits of it. Hello, Paulius. Everyone's up late tonight, aren't they? <laughs> Have you got work tomorrow? Hello, David. David Duck. Very interesting character. <laughs> um, let me just have a look. It is a David Duck I'm thinking of. Ah, I think that just messed up now. Have a look. Yeah, so... Um, uh, we can step away and we can fight the system by not, you know, actually going out and fighting it. Just by not fighting it and I think we'll get a lot of wins there but once again as I was saying people are selfish people don't want to take a day off people don't want to stop people feel that need it's, a, it's an addiction it's like don't use Facebook for a day but I need to I need to do this you know and it does become an addiction it becomes like a, this motor um, uh, action necessity you know where you miss doing that it's like with smoking you miss that when you um, stop smoking believe it or not and, you know, on a deeper level, people don't think about that. They think, oh, it's just a nicotine. But, you know, you miss that sitting back and lifting your hand up, like, to your mouth 30 times, and more than that, you know, 60 times in one minute, 20 times a day. And we miss that physical side of it and the um, cerebral, you know, the mental side of it. And we really need to take more time off. When we take that time off, you see the big companies come back into us. A lot of it's free, which is why we use it. Um, in exchange, obviously, for our data and for you know us communicating and sharing and understanding us better, so they can sell us more stuff, and also so that the state can um, quell any kind of revolution or rebellion, and also for just spying on us in general. So, on that note. Let's have a look. I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for listening. I came on tonight originally just to record a bit of a song. I deleted that video. Came back on. Thanks very much, Ryan, uh, uh, for um, taking part and for asking the questions and, you know, for your input there. Thanks for everyone else who mentioned anything. Really, really great to see um, uh, Ree, Phil, uh, Samuel, Kai, thank you, Jonathan, Bat, Paul, uh, Thomas again, and Simona. Thank you for very much for popping in, Simona. And on that note, I am the OBG. OBG.